Hello everyone, this two minute book review is on the left hand of darkness by Ursula Le Guin. And though this book was published in 1969, I wasn't around in 1969, so I've read it now and I just want to discuss a few bits with it. This is an iconic piece of sci-fi. Ursula Le Guin is one of the great writers and this book is very famous for one key part. The book, the story itself, follows an envoy that's sent from the Federation, the United Nation of Planets, to a new recently found planet called Gethen, where it's permanently winter. And the envoy sets out to bring Gethen on board with the wider Federation and of course has to battle various insecurities and fears on this planet who are worried about this new interloper and what exists outside of the planet they know. The key element everyone likes and everyone just talks about in Left Hand of Darkness is that Ursula made every single person on this planet Gethen and bisexual. There is no male, there is no female. Instead, this is a deliberate analysis of what is masculine, what is feminine, sexuality, gender, gender representation, gender roles, and what happens if you take all of sex and gender out and we really have everyone the same. There are some challenges in the way that book is written. So everything, everyone is given a male pronoun, like he and the leader of the planet is referred to as king. And that does always keep twisting the male um, voices in your head, is that you, you begin to think everything is a male character. That is a deliberate uh, attempt to reflect on the misogyny of the envoy and the patriarchal assumptions he has. But it does feed a little too much into the book. And there are some really, questionable, debatable assumptions. For example, Gethen doesn't have war, doesn't have any kind of battles uh, that are prolonged. And Ursula is making a deliberate commentary, for example, there, that once you take masculinity and testosterone out the equation, you do not get war. Ipso facto, women would not create war. That is, that is almost a sexist assumption in itself and something that we really talk about now. So from an intellectual point of view, this book was very interesting to read. Um, but would I necessarily say there was an emotional attachment here? No, this book is quite a tough read. It's quite tough slog. Uh, you do feel quite distant from it at times, um, certainly until the last third, which is really tight and quite engaging. But nevertheless, a very interesting academic exercise.